A South Africa celebrity doctor and alleged main accomplice who helped convicted a rapist, the murderer, Thabo Basta, escaped from prison, has launched an urgent court application to declare arrest and subsequent detention on lawful Dr. Nan P. Deepa Magudumana found an urgent application in the Bloemfontein High Court for arrest and deportation to South Africa to be declared wrongful. Magudumana was arrested with her lover, Thabo Besta, in Arusha, Tanzania in April after fleeing South Africa. The urgent application will be heard in the Bloemfontein High Court on Thursday. Now, joining us now to discuss this further is a legal analyst on Malelo Zikalala. He joins us live from Durban in South Africa. A warm welcome to you, Umpa Malelo, and thank you for your time. Good evening to you, and also good evening to your viewers. Now, uh, Umpa Malelo, what is the urgent application found by Dr. Uh, Nandipa Magudumana's legal representation about? What is she challenging? Basically, the doctor is challenging the manner in which she was brought from Tanzania to South Africa. She is saying that it was done in an unlawful manner. They ought to have followed an extradition process rather than a deportation process. And she's alleging that none were actually conducted on that basis. She's saying that it's as if she was kidnapped or abducted from Tanzania and then sent to South Africa. Hence, she is facing these charges today. So, a basic argument is saying that because you have not followed the legal procedures that ought to have been followed, whatever action which is going to follow is fruits from poisonous tree on that basis please let me free you are violating my freedom my right to freedom of movement mm -hmm. as per the african constitution hence i want to be let go now because you did not follow the appropriate procedure that you have ought to, to have followed when you have brought me from tanzania to south africa now Pumalelo, is dr nandipa legally permitted to file this urgent application and uh, what are the rules around the terms of legalities but in terms of the application which has been filed there are, there, are, there are a few things which are, are missing now the basic rules which are followed is that whenever you file an agent application you must be able to prove agents the agents will be found in making sure that you have a right that you need to protect at all costs you must not have any other alternative remedies which are available to you you must suffer irreparable harm if that particular order has not been granted and on a balance of probabilities, the merits of the case must be so strong to such an extent that any court will be able to determine that it's going to rule in your favor at a later stage. Now, in this case, when you come to irreparable harm, there's no irreparable harm which is going to be suffered by the doctor. The, she has not showed any type of harm that she's going to suffer from the papers, no financial harm that has been specified or alleged by her, no harm to any of her dignities or any of their rights has been stated by her. Secondly, but the most important one is the one of saying that there are also the remedies which are available to her. Now, as she is in court at the moment, she could have applied for bail. If bail had been granted, she would have been out by now, but she is the one who specifically chosen not to participate in the process. Now, the court is going to sit back and say, but wait a minute, you are not brought by mistake to court. There's certain allegations that you have to answer to. On that basis, follow the procedures as laid down in our law. The Criminal Procedure Act is very clear as to what is it that you must do if you want to be out on pay. Do not try and short circuit this process, especially when you have proved to us the irreparable harm that you are going to suffer, while having other alternative dispute mechanisms that could be there. Let's also look at the timing of this application, mm. which is going to be very crucial. You, are, you have been in jail for a number of weeks. What is the agency that has necessitated you to engage in this application now? when you could have done so a week or two weeks earlier, in which the agency could then be seen by the court as indeed agent that this matter must be heard in front of all the other matters which are in the courtroom. Thank you very much, Mpumalelo Zikalala. We do appreciate your insights on this subject and we look forward to following the developments in this uh, very uh, interesting uh, case happening in the Republic of South Africa. Thank you. Thank you very much for hosting me.